Hey everyone, welcome to Buy It's Cover. I'm Leah and today I'm here to show you how to identify your own book covers. So I got around to thinking that there are millions of books in the world with millions of covers and there's no possible way that I'm going to review every single book that you want. So I thought I'd teach you how to find out the artist, art directors, fonts, whatever you want on any book cover. There's a method for paperback and there's a method for hardcover books and then we're also going to talk about some self-identifying for typography and fonts so get ready for a little graphic design lesson. So we'll start with hardcovers. I have here Six of Crows. The first thing we're going to look for is the jacket design, which in almost every hardcover can be found on the back inside flap of the wraparound. So in here it is at the very bottom, right under these cover samples. So we have jacket art and design by Rich Deas, but if you watch my video for this book you know that there is a, another artist involved that helps with the typography, and that I found through just some simple googling of Six of Crows cover design. The next thing you're going to want to find is fonts. So you're going to turn to the copyright and dedication page. And then somewhere, usually halfway to the bottom half of the page, down near the summary or the Library of Congress number, will be a section about the design. So I have it down right here. First edition design by April Ward. Where and what year it was printed. So this is actually an example that does not include the copy font listed in the copyright page, but that is okay, there are other methods to finding it. Next we're going to do a paperback, and I have here Throne of Glass, so obviously there's no wraparound jacket with an inside flap to print the design on, so you want to look on the back cover, somewhere usually in this left hand corner, maybe near the price tag, maybe near a review, just not anywhere near the summary. So here is at the very bottom cover illustrations, 2013 by Teleski. And once again on the copyright page, we have book design by Regina Ruff, where the book was set and where it was bound and what year. This is also usually a good place to find if there's a map in your book who the illustrator was. So it's at the top here, map copyright, Kelly Degroot, 2012. So once you've found an artist's name from a book, if you want to learn more about them, pretty easy to start with a simple Google search of their name. From there you want to look for pages like professional portfolio websites, LinkedIn profiles, Behance accounts, anything that's going to show you who they are, where they've worked to make sure you have the right person, and then get a large body of their other sorts of work. Okay, moving on to fonts. Those both were examples that did not include the copy font on the copyright page. But we're going to start with title fonts. In popular series or books, it's pretty easy to just Google the name and cover font or title font, and somebody's probably already identified it for you. If it's not identified, that's a pretty good case to guess that it was hand-drawn or made specifically for this book. If it's a lesser-known book or you really think that someone just hasn't found the font yet, I like to use a website called Font Squirrel. They make types, you can convert types into web fonts, you can identify fonts, it's just great. <laughs> so we're going to go to the font identifier. You're going to click upload image and if you don't have one already it'll prompt you to take one. I'm going to do throw in a glass because I know that Six of Crows doesn't have one. So you want to try to get all of the title or as much of the font in as you can and not any others or it will confuse the identifier. I'm going to rotate it to where I want. I can crop it so that my thumb's not in it and other fonts aren't in it. And then you hit maturate it. Now you're going to get this weird page with all the letters broken up into individual images and it's going to ask you to type in the letter that matches the image so it can identify them. Sometimes you're going to get weird shapes that aren't letters and it misunderstood. That's okay, you can delete them with just a double tap. So now I've hit match rate and it'll give you a list of possible matches down below and what do we have right here? 
open face FS regular which is exactly the font used on the cover. So this same method can be used with body copy although I'll admit it's a little bit harder because a lot of fonts look very similar to the untrained eye. So I'm going to teach you some key identifiers of certain letters to look for when you're trying to match the font to from the book to the list of recommendations that Font Squirrel has given you. For uppercase letters, I find it's very easy to identify uppercase G's, S's, Q's, and W's. And this is because of some pretty noticeable differences. For example, on G's, with this arm that comes across to make it a G and not a C, you can look if it's just one line, if it has a line going down, if it's a big cursive swirly thing, pretty easy. Similar to S's, how big is the bold? That's the inside space here of the S. Sorry, I'm throwing all these type terms at you. Same with Q's, the tail is the part that makes it not an O. Those are very distinctive between Q's. And W's, I like because some just look like two V's touching, and some are crisscrossed. For lowercase, I like G's, A's, W's, and K's. G is pretty much for the same reason, because on the lower bowl, some are closed into like a second circle, some are left open. A's, you can have the one story where it's a circle with a line, or two stories where it's the curve with the circle underneath. W's I've kind of already explained, and K's, you're looking for if the top is a line or a circle. If none of those are still working for you, there's usually somewhere in a book some use of italics. I like to use F, Y, and G of italic, probably lowercase. They all get this long differentiating in the swooping when you get to italics. That's not the same as not italic. And if you haven't noticed, G is pretty much the most easy to identify a character, so look for G's. So that's pretty much it. It's actually pretty easy to identify book covers. I hope you still come back and watch me identify things and talk about what I like and don't like since I've given you all my secrets now. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit like and subscribe down below. Leave me some comments.